one, idempotency ensures that an operation can be executed multiple times without changing the result beyond the initial application. This is a common technique in API design and consumption, but did you know it also applies to orchestrations? Let's see how. So let's see how to implement idempotency in a very straightforward example. This is a process order flow with tasks like validate order, calculate task, generate invoice, pay order, and send order confirmation. When I'm going to run this, this flow, let's say for an ID 365, the amount is 234, and a company name is Orcus. I can define my independency key. My, my key can be whatever I want. It can be the order ID, let's say 365, or something composed of the order ID and another attribute like the company name, let's say Orcus. I can decide the strategy of my indempotency. It can be return the existing flow if, an, if a flow has been executed with this key already, or I can say just fail. In that case, I'm going to run. And everything has been executed as expected because no execution with that key has been found. But now if I go back to the definition and run it again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. 365 dash or case. I can and fail. I'm going to see that when I'm going to run this workflow, I'm going to have a problem here. The workflow with independency key already exists. So this execution cannot be done. Or if I say return existing, I'm going to run this workflow and I'm going to see what has been executed right before. Of course, I am here as a developer in my console because I am testing, but I can do the same thing by code. If I am in my application, and I define a start workflow request object in my Python uh, program. I have exactly the same thing, an order with ID 365, the amount 234 and the company Orcus. I can add another parameter here that can be idempotency key that can be equals to, we said 365 dash or case, and I can also define my idempotency strategy. And I'm going to say this is the fail strategy. I'm going to save it and I'm going to run my uh, process order example. And I'm going to see that I have a four or not. 409 problem the workflow with either potency key already exists 